medical physics field in Uganda has moved the journey. In 1962, that's when the radiology department was first established in the Mulago National Referral Hospital. And in 1978-79, that's when plans to train radiologists and medical physicists started. And in 79, that's when we got our first medical physicist, that is Mr. Segawa. And uh, this was followed by the late Mr. Peter Dungumatovu in 1989. Uh, Dr. Kavma House came on board in 1994 as a medical physics trainee, followed by Ms. Nakatude Rebecca in 2004 again who joined as a medical physics trainee. Uh, the number of medical physicists now stagnated in that time for about 10 years and in 2014 that's when other new members started coming on board as medical physicists. If I can take you back, in 1988 that is when the radiotherapy department was established as a unit and the radiology department in Mulago National Referral Hospital and the first RRT doctors, the first radiotherapy doctors were radiologists who had got some oncology knowledge from Germany and the medical physicist by then was still Mr. Segawa. So that department temporarily closed from 1991 to 1993 and reopened after the installation of the Cobalt 60 and the Cesium 137 uh, brachytherapy units. The radiotherapy department became autonomous or simply it separated from the radiology department and became an independent department uh, in 1998 and that's when uh, a position of the medical physicist was first recognized by the public service and a vacancy, one vacancy of the medical physicist was created in that time. But this vacancy or this medical physics position had no promotion ladder by then. In 2014, that's when the radiotherapy administration was transferred from Mulago National Referral Hospital to Uganda Cancer Institute and in 2017, the promotional ladder was created under the public service establishment. The, public, the promotional ladder for medical physics pro, uh, position was created under the public service establishment. And in 2019, that's when Uganda Cancer Institute employed the four more medical physicists. And that is when uh, the number of medical physicists started uh, going up. And since we had gotten some number, that is when, in 2019, our association, the Uganda Medical Physicists Association, was created and also commissioned by then the Minister of Health uh, uh, Permanent Secretary, Dr. Diana Atwini. Currently, the number has grown to 15, including those that are still on training. Um, radiotherapy services within the country is currently only available in Kampala. However, Uganda Cancer Institute is in the process of establishing regional cancer centers which will take the service close to the patients seeking uh, the services. In terms of uh, treatment, the services started with COBOL-60 and low-dose rate brachytherapy. Uh, in 2021, the first linear accelerator was installed. This was followed by two more linear accelerators in 2023 and uh, another planning city and the HDR unit. Um, with this equipment available, uh, we are able to introduce uh, 3D conformal. We are also able to introduce IMRT, uh, VMAT and image-guided uh, brachytherapy. In terms of radiology and nuclear medicine, uh, majorly the equipment which were available were uh, CT scan, MRI, uh, general X-ray, and then mammography. 
but UCI currently is in the process of installing a spec city, a pet city, as well as establishing a facility for cyclotron, which will be providing radiopharmaceutical for diagnostic and therapy purposes. In terms of uh, medical physics, the number has grown, as mentioned by my colleague. This has allowed us to be able to introduce a specialization as well as patient-specific QA, such as a second check of physics calculations, in vivo dosimetry, and then also phantom measurement for pretreatment QA, and lastly, APIDs as part of the physics QA equipment. Um, in terms of training, the increase in the number of medical physics within the country has allowed us to uh, have workshops and seminars and then also it has allowed us to uh, have collaboration with other institutions like the IAE, Washington University and University of Washington. And then also um, the establishment of a medical physics program in the university is possible because of the increase in the uh, qualified physicists within the country. In terms of the future, there is an increase in radiological facilities across the country and also with the uh, installation of the PET and the cyclotron, we are also anticipating CT, MRI. As a medical physicist, this profession has grown in Uganda over the years but we have had different challenges in Uganda as a country. We have very few numbers of qualified clinically trained medical physicists, currently standing at 14 in number, serving the entire population of Uganda, with actually zero clinically trained medical physicists in nuclear medicine, which creates a very big gap in that specialty of nuclear medicine. And um, this calls for a need for a local training in medical physics. For example, having a master's in medical physics in Uganda would do as well. Uh, because currently we have the support of the International Atomic Energy Agency, which gives us very many fellowships. And we have collaborations from the University of uh, uh, Washington and the Washington University, who have helped the staff in the training, especially in the advanced uh, uh, technologies. But locally, if we do the training here, this one would enhance the training, given the cost. The training outside there is very expensive, so if we introduce the program here, it will be cheaper and manageable especially for the Ugandan community. But of course, this takes in the collaboration of the government and the, the training institutions, and then the centers where these machines are seated, where we have to train. The other challenge we have faced as medical physicists in Uganda is the uh, concentration of the nuclear medicine centers and the radiotherapy centers. Currently, all centers are located in Kampala, and uh, it's only one center at the Uganda Cancer Institute and then the Nuclear Medicine Department in Molago Hospital. So this has created a challenge in the way we give our services to the Ugandan population in that when you look at the west, the east and the north region of the country, we have zero centers. So this calls for a need to expand the radiotherapy and the nuclear medicine centers countrywide so that everyone benefits from the services of the medical physicists.